I'm John Walker, voice of the NCR, and this is the news. Salt Town reported record profits last year. Reports indicate that they owe this success to the increasingly heated war between the NCR and the Legion. Now, no one could put a price on the safety of our men. Still, it would be nice if we didn't have to break the bank for salt. Stick around. We've got some hot tunes coming right up. Why does the little loading icon... It's a revolver cylinder, but it has the bushing from a 1911. <laughs> of course! Of course you would nitpick the loading screens, gun. <laughs> this just doesn't make much sense to me. Like, why Why is there a bushing from a 1911 in front of a revolver cylinder? I don't even know what a bushing is. The wolf pack has over 70 collective confirmed kills. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> They're regarded as the most elite soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. This guy? Any luck finding Hawkins yet? Do you have any actual suggestions for finding him? Well, the easiest way has got to be picking the lock. Or taking the key off the merchant. You could try talking to him, but he's pretty slippery. Talk to the merchant. Got it. Come back when you have. When you when you have? When you have what? <laughs> oh, talk to him. <laughs> oh, okay. He's just he's wording everything very strangely. Yeah. A bustling trading hall this is. You here to buy or to sell? Do you know anybody named Hawkins? Never heard of him. You sure you don't know Hawkins? Sorry, but Hawkins is dead. How'd he die then? The goddamn psycho broke his own neck while we were interrogating him. I mean, he was going to die anyway for what he did. Sorry, what? I just wish we could have gotten something out of him first. Man, you are incredibly inconsistent. <laughs> nope, never heard of him. Oh yeah, he broke his neck while we were interrogating him. I, I didn't know the guy. I was going to kill him, but I don't know who he is. <laughs> what the hell did you even hope to learn? <laughs> Whether or not he was working alone. If he was, no problem. If he wasn't, problem. Why were you interrogating him? We found out that Hawkins was sabotaging our mining equipment. Said sabotage led to four guards and one miner getting killed. It also set our schedule back by about a month. The miners are all going to have to work double shifts to make it up. I bet you murdered him! He slammed the back of his neck onto the chair the minute the foreman started asking questions. He probably thought he'd die immediately. Instead, he laid there on the floor for an hour before the foreman finally told us to shoot him. You've got to wonder why he didn't just use a cyanide pill. Do you even sell cyanide pills here? Goodbye! You'll be back. Yep, found him! There we go. There we go. Don't worry. We we the legates past is a mystery. He's not only quite intelligent, but Don't worry, we fixed it. We fixed everything. Oh shit, my finger slipped. <laughs> Where do you want me to stash the body? Um How about the back room with the other body? How's it going, buddy? Any luck finding Hawkins yet? <laughs> yeah, he's fucking dead. We knew that he was probably dead. We just didn't want to believe it. You've proven that we can trust you. If you want to help more, meet us in the Mad Merchant's Cave. No, oh, all right. All right, well, into the cave. Yeah. Ow! God <laughs> damn! Bless it! God bless it! You didn't even fall. You tripped over a rock. I tripped over the smallest of pebbles. I tripped over that guy <laughs> right there. That little tiny thing. And I'm just like, blah, 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 down all the fucking stairs. And this place has no guardrails because... They don't care about you. Yeah, exactly. I could do this. Oh, go over that pathway down there. You land on that thing. No, nope, you missed it. You're still alive, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like uh, you're trapped under the ice. This is a nightmare scenario. Oh, God. I don't think I could. The further down I go, I can't go up anymore. Uh oh, uh -oh I hear the sonic drowning music, Zach. Oh, no. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Turn that mute. Oh, I'm just walking. <laughs> All right, go ahead and rewind time, please. 
I'm sorry, wa water serves as the backing for currency. In the frontier, salt serves as the backing for caps. Yes. They're just caps. They don't have they don't need a backing because they're just caps. <laughs> There's no backing for caps. They're just caps. Yeah, no, it's part of the uh, the cap currency. <laughs> it would have cost you zero dollars to not put that in there, and yet you put it in there. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's using a ladder. That's how you do it. All right. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> Just shimmy. I'm glad you enjoy this. It's ridiculous. How terrible would it be if your job was to go mining, but to get to your mining spot, you had to swim to it, and you'd spend the entire day mining in wet clothes? I guess I could mine naked. You know, no, I would bring a plastic bag with me that I could seal, put all my clothes in it, swim to where I have to work, uh, and then take all my clothes out of the plastic bag. Clever. Here I am just being wet. I would bring a bathing suit to work. <laughs> hmm. Is it you? Are you our quest giver? Oh, man. It's just so relaxing to look into the abyss, to look and see. The oh, wait. What are you doing? No. Stop it. Stop. No. 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 Don't kick me off! <laughs> ah! Long live the king! <laughs> oh. I don't know why that guy is dead, but uh, let's just help out the coal mine uh, operator. Lo long live the king a second time. <laughs> Alright, where is this guy I'm supposed to talk to? Hello! Hello again. It's good to see you down here. I guess that means you're fighting by our side. Are we? Tell me about Salt Town. I've only been here a few months. Aren't the guards ghouls? A few of them. They've been here since the start. Most, though, are mercs hired from out of town, like me. Okay, why'd you join the Union? The miners here are being treated worse than slaves. After a while, I just got sick of all the pain and suffering. The rest is history. Very boring history. Tell me about yourself, mister. Uh, there really isn't much to say. I'm just a guard. That's it. <laughs> what story, Oriel? So how's your sex life? W what? I, uh, I've gotta go. <laughs> yeah, not getting any. Ah, uh, yeah, down here is where they're hiding out. Uh, where is this stupid cave? Uh, very well hidden. Hmm. Oh, is it hidden by the tiniest mushroom? Wow, yeah, this is so well hidden. You didn't see it earlier! Ooh! This is a fun little space. What is going on in there? You guys have a smelter down there? Why? Oh, it's not from here! It is a visitor. Its forehead scarred by violence. Its eyes burning with rage and ambition. What scar is everybody talking about? I cannot give it what it needs, but perhaps I have what it wants. Stop calling me it! It thinks it's special! No, all of them are it. That is what I see them as. Walking objects. Ideas wearing pretend flesh. It's called clothing. What do you sell? It wishes to buy something? A Martian Slayer. It looks like a squirt gun. Displacer glove, buzz bat. You have absolutely nothing. Except 800 tin cans! Why do you have so many tin cans, dude? Hello. So, you're the visitor who found Hawkins. Here. It's not much, but it's all I can give you in return. I'm Del Castron. You can call me Del. Welcome to the Union, visitor. With your help... We may just have a shot at freedom. I, okay, cool. That's that's great. I don't care. Goodbye. Ciao. What? You don't want to participate in the Workers' Rebellion? No, not really. Oh, it could be fun. Uh, uh, mm, mm, Come on, Zach. Uh, no. Come, Zach, no. Here, here's a chance to help out the proletariat. I, no, don't. Oh, <laughs> that is a oh, that's fun. That's fun. Okay, I like you guys a little bit more now. Welcome back, comrade. Don't call me comrade. Were there ever any other groups like this? I'm guessing yes. Once. 
There was a miner named John Henry. He tried to organize everyone into a union like the ones from the old world. It might have worked, but Whitehead sold them out before anyone could find out. Uh, oh, that guard that's upstairs? He goes by Overseer Whitehead now. Uh, yeah. That's the title the foreman gave him after he betrayed Henry. He is a bit of a dick. He's scum. The worst kind of class traitor. He'll face justice for what he's done. Did you know Hawkins killed some guards? And a miner? Allegedly. Those guards brutalized us every day. They deserved what they got. As for the miner, that was a mistake. And I'll have to live with it for the rest of my life. Wait, you have a miner's rebellion? There's only four people here if you include the merchant. Everyone in this cave is a part of the Union, whether they know it or not. Once we prove that we have a chance at making a change, the others will join us with no hesitation. Uh, what if they choose not to? That's their decision, but when the dust settles, toleration of class traitors will end. That seems a little extreme. Why don't you just leave? That's easier said than done. It's hard for ghouls to make a living out there. And once you leave Salt Town, you can never come back. <sighs> Another rule will have to change. Besides that, most of us helped found the town. It's our home. We won't leave it unless we have to. So how bad does it suck down here? The foreman couldn't care less about us or our safety. Just look at the wing taken over by ants. Then there's his constant overmining, which will kill the town faster than any raider group could. Totally unrelated, but the tread pattern on those tires back there kind of reminds me of that ass that everybody draws in elementary school. <laughs> yeah, it does. The foreman's been having us take too much out of the mine too fast. It makes him more caps in the short term, but it comes at a cost. He's making you remove the load-bearing salt! <laughs> no one wants to admit it, but the mine is starting to run dry. That's why he's making us push deeper and deeper into the mine. He's getting desperate. If the mine's gonna run dry, it's gonna run dry. It's just not sustainable, Zach. He's taking salt out without planting any salt seeds. Oh, that makes sense. We need an outside agent. Someone who can leave the town and return without arousing suspicion. Someone who has experience traveling from place to place. Someone who knows their way around a gun. Sound familiar? Yeah, I can do all of those things. Except that gun part, he's a little unfamiliar. What are you going to do after you take control? The power returns to the people. The workers will live better lives and Portland will enjoy lower prices from Salt Town. Are you pretty sure you're not going to just take over and become the very thing that you swore to destroy? Nah, nah, perish the thought. That's never happened to us before and it certainly won't happen again. What do I get? We can't give you much now, but once we're in charge of finances, you'll be well rewarded. He'll pay us in salt. Yeah, sure, whatever. Before we can even think about an uprising, we need popular support. The foreman has all but destroyed our morale, so we need to prove that we can hurt him. The best way to do that is to interfere with his flow of caps. Sabotage. Josiah Greystone is a contractor the foreman hired to secure deals he can't do himself. According to one of my sources, Greystone is in the midst of finalizing a deal with a race of mutants called the Trocali. The, the if what? you can make the Trocali deal go bad, everyone down here will know who's responsible, what really happened. We can use that as a springboard to full-scale revolution. All right. This sounds like a whole lot of intrigue that I really don't want to have any part of. Can't you just point me in the direction of someone and say, kill that guy? It'd be better if you could find some way to make it look like the deal fell apart, naturally. Ugh, why, why is he doing this? The Trocali are one of the few groups in Portland who don't trade with us. Making a deal with them gives us a new source of revenue. I'll see what I can do. Happy hunting. What have we gotten ourselves into? Hello again. It's good to see you down here. I guess that means you're fighting by our side. I... I just wanted salt for some french fries, dude! <laughs> what do you think of the other members of the Union? Dell's a visionary. A modern-day freedom fighter. Uh -huh. Killian's a good man, too, even if he is quiet. I know Mads technically isn't part of this, but he helps us in his own way. Leaves trinkets for us to find. 
He he has Easter egg hunts for us. <laughs> what a blossoming rebellion! Oh, man, this rebellion is gonna go great. Rumors abound that the NCR is secretly trading with a group of mutant lizards. Ah, NCR Command has wisely asked me to clarify the situation. The person who started the rumor was a member of the villainous Frost Vipers, and was visibly inebriated. No such group of mutants has ever existed. Trust me, if there was a group of mutant lizards out there, the voice of the NCR would be the first to let you know. Someone should really patch that hole in the fat. Oh, are there a bunch of landmines? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they were like, no, we don't need to patch a hole. I mean, um, theoretically, you could just go like this and just go around. Oh, is this? Oh, the whole area is a DMZ. Yeah. Yeah, but also look, look, look. I just made it to the other side without stepping on a single landmine. Mm hmm. I can sprint from one <laughs> side to the other. I'm assuming this minefield is more effective when there's no snow telling you exactly where they are. Yeah. There's no landmines right here. <laughs> you can just get on the base. Wow. Base security sucks <laughs> around. Look at this. <laughs> just, it was just a hop, skip, and a jump over the airplane, and ta-da, now we're inside the NCR base. This, They're still working on it. Oh, my God. Speaking of security. <laughs> just, yep, the snowbank has kind of foiled that. Yeah. This barbed wire isn't even sharp either. I've been calling him the Trochili this entire time. The Trocali, apparently, is how you're supposed to pronounce it. What do you think they're gonna look like? Uh, they're gonna look like regular super mutants. Oh, maybe they're gonna be red-skinned super mutants. I bet they're gonna be identical to every single super mutant we've seen so far. So, green or blue skin, though? I Green. Ah, so not Nightkin? No. Uh, is it? Oh, whoop! Okay, we're going into the sewer. I don't think a super mutant would fit in the sewer. Maybe there's another entrance. Another human. What? Did you bring us more gems? Not quite what you were expecting. Ah, talking snake! So, you must be new. Talking snakes! Lizards, actually, but close. Snakes that talk! Small snakes that talk! And smoke! Okay, I'm good now. The queen asks that you surrender your weapons before entering the sewers. Oh my god, seriously? It's nothing personal. We just need to keep our brood safe. You understand? Is there any way I cannot hand over my weapons? Friends of the Trochili are allowed to carry weapons freely. If you help us... You could be our friend. <laughs> what about bribes? Do you take those? I can't be bribed. Unless you have... No, not even then. You want chems, don't you? Not just any chem. Mentats. They're the best kind of chems. The minute you put one in your mouth... You get this explosion of flavor that lasts all week. It's the best high I've ever had. You have a belt but full of Mentats. They're so rare. They're just the empty hmm. Mentat boxes. Bring me Mentats and I'll let you pass. Okay, here you go. Give it to me! Give it to me now! D what okay. are you waiting for? Go! <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Dude, you can just find Mentats anywhere. They're not rare. What the f- You guys got chickens? Underground chickens? Is that how they survived? I don't s know if I s believe in Jupe's god. He seems a bit too human to me. Uh, no offense. Um, uh, what god are they worshipping? I Jesus! Or maybe Zeus. Oh, there's also people down here. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, who are all these people? Very quiet, huh? I like your gas mask, I guess. <laughs> Never thought I'd be so glad to see someone else walking on two legs. 
I'm Uzziah Greystone, friend. I'd give you a neighborly welcome, but I'm afraid this ain't my house. What are you doing down here? As if we didn't already know. I am here to broker a mutually beneficial trade agreement between Salt Town and the Trochili. The Trochili are one of the few groups who don't trade with us, you see. I am here to rectify this error. So you think you're close to making a deal? The Trochili have been receptive to the idea. They need salt like everyone else. It helps that we offer our products at a lower price than Blackthorn can. Wait, what? Hold on. Why do they need salt? Also, how is Blackthorn selling salt if the NCR gets salt from Salt Town? Yeah, come on, man. You can be straight with me. Well, I suppose I can tell a fellow human. The deal will generate a considerable amount of caps for Salt Town over the next few years. However, you are correct in assuming that there is an ulterior motive. Unbeknownst to the Trochili, this here lair sits above an untapped salt mine. Ooh. The conditions of the deal stipulate that Salt Town will have sole ownership of this mine and everything within it. The important part is that the Trochili don't know the mine exists. As far as they know, we just want a random patch of dirt. How do we sabotage- yeah, You just told me that right in front of a trope. <laughs> you freaking idiot. You deserve to have this deal pulled away from you. If I didn't have cans, I would get a slife, I guess. He was too high to pay attention. He had no idea what was going on. Where's the queen? Are mm. you the queen? A slot of humans find us attractive. I don't know how to feel about that. Why would well, humans find you attractive? I know how the queen feels, at least. Is some way these guys are down here? Uh, maybe. Well, the queen wouldn't be down here with the workers, right? They have a, a chamber with what a chambermaid. The... Uh, I'm only here for the chems. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why are you called a breeder? Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> okay. You're looking at me, looking at me with this face of suspicious eyes. Why is it so? Why me? My teeth. You're staring at my teeth. That's it. You want to steal them, don't you? You do have some nice chompers. You want to tear them out of my jaw and wear them around your neck. You they would make a good necklace. Sick teeth fetishes. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. Which option gets me out of this conversation as fast as humanly possible? <laughs> Stop! Stop! I'm telling the truth. Stop! Goodbye. Uh, well, you have now picked a fight with a Trokali. Oh, they fly! This guy, this guy is just living it up before he dies. <laughs> He's like, I'm not going out without a last buzz. <laughs> oh, you must be the queen. Oh, hey. Sorry for the sweet. I was a bit busy with queenly matters. <laughs> Doing drugs. I get it. It's fine. Mercury Runner said there was a new seaman. She didn't say you were so attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello there, snake lady. This one's all yours. I'm Stuno, by the way. Queen Juno. Makes yourself at home. Have a chem, maybe stew. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's get crazy. So I'll start us off. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Well, Mama always said you gotta try everything once. She may not have meant snake sex, but... Why are all of you people so obsessed with chems? Have you tried a skim? They're yeah. out of this world. Your soul body comes alive once it's in your system. No, they're just mediocre. All your worries 
belts away. Then are you drinking turpentine? And this good feeling spreading out from your core. Then it just <laughs> keeps filling you and filling you until you finally burst, and you're left with a tingly feeling for hours. <laughs> That's called cells dying. I don't remember exactly how it works, but some things about our genetics makes chems twice as strong for us, with half the drawbacks. You ever tried chems? No, because then you get s addicted and then you s fucking die. Yeah, what Mike s pontificated. <laughs> I have to set an s example for s responsible chem use. How else <laughs> are the s kids going to learn how to do it? How is sex with humans? Uh, what he means is how have the relations with humans been going? Up and down. Depends boy, 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 boy. on the screen, really. My great grandmother, Queen Buchenwald, was all about killing humans. She even swore a human skull as a hat. Really, she did. It looked terrible on her, but she swore it anyway. I'm still about the whole thing. Next few queens will be too, if they know what's good for them. Why do they need to be chill about humans? Because humans are our only source of chems. In case you haven't noticed, we're kind of strung out on them. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. By the way, Greystone is lying to you. His boss plans to use the salt mine under the sewer and then kick you out. Wow, what a stick. I knew there was something fishy about the steel. Thanks for telling sus. The steel is off. Oh, and don't worry about Greystone. Swill, take care of him. You mean have sex with him, I get it. Can we leave now? Yeah, I think our time out here was a sucks. Uh, You're welcome. I hate this place. <laughs> you can probably jump off right now and still survive. There you go. Ow! <laughs> Good night. Ow! That hurt. That hurt. Excuse, excuse me. Go! Ugh! Going up and down these damn ladders. Oh shit, I slipped! Ow! <laughs> it could be stairs, it could be steps, it doesn't matter. Zach breaks his neck. Oh no! I'm stuck! Hey, you did that thing again! Ah! Good enough. Holy shit! What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Who put the light so fucking close to this? Oh my god, it's like a million degrees. <laughs> Welcome back, comrade. We have sabotaged the deal with the Trokali and probably gotten that guy killed. I've heard. We all have. The others are starting to realize that maybe we don't have to live like this. That there's a better way. We're almost ready to rise up now. The foreman isn't stupid, though. He'll know something's wrong, which is why we need to act fast. You could just kill all the Trochilli and take the mine that's down there. The Trochilli don't deserve to be murdered. You could get them to live somewhere else. Just so put the drugs there. They'll go there. I I don't know if the Trochilli are willing to trust humans at this point. I, they trusted me awfully easily. If the foreman has made one thing clear, it's that peaceful resistance will never get us anywhere. We're more than willing to fight, but we don't have the tools to do so. That's where you come in. If you can bring us guns and ammo, we'll finally have everything we need to take back the town. Can't you guys just use mining equipment? Pickaxes and bolt cutters won't do much against assault rifles and carapaces. Why are you using bolt cutters to mine for salt? Those are the only tools they have! Not in their current state they wouldn't be able to. 
but I can turn them into lethal weapons. I am a small arms repairman. You really know how to do that? Well, all right. Go ahead, but be quick about it. Be quick about it, he says. Do you know how long it takes to turn one pickaxe into a rifle? Very fast. Watch me use the time machine to fast forward time. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, but you fast forward a time. I had to stay and fix all these things. The time to rise up is almost here. We just need to tie up loose ends. Whitehead, he needs to die. Okay. And you need to kill him. I know this is sudden, but you're the only one who can do it without exposing us. We're counting on you. You want it to be fast or slow and painful? It doesn't matter how it's done, just that it gets done. I didn't sign up for murder. That's too far. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll kill him. Come back when it's done. All right. See you soon. Mm -mm. All right. Hello, Mr. Whitehead. If you don't have any questions, I have work to do. You probably should know that I'm here to kill you. That's not a very good joke. I guess I need to work on my material. Or maybe you just need to shut up and let me get back to work. You know what else is a joke? Your life! Hardy har har. No, seriously, we're here to kill you. You won't kill me. You can't. I'm the overseer of the mine. I'm somebody. The foreman will realize I'm gone. The miners too. They'll tell someone. They have to. Miners really don't like you very much. Those bastards! After everything I've done for them, they turn on me. Yeah. They trust some random outsider over their own overseer. Yeah. Well, fine. Go ahead. Try and kill me. I'll kill you, and then, then I'll show them who's in charge. Aw. <laughs> well, you're gonna try. Poorly. I want to wear the minor armor. Ooh. Um... Yeah, I like this armor. It's chunky. Cool. Don't mind us, everybody. Just killed the overseer, foreman guy. Yeah, it's fine. He's dead, but nobody really cares, though. Welcome back, comrade. We killed Whitehead for you. I wish he could have lived to see the system he tried so hard to protect fall apart. But it's better this way. Are you ready? There's no going back from this. Yeah, I'm ready. Time to throw off our chains. Time to retake our future. For too long, we have been abused, undervalued by the bourgeoisie and their mindless lick-spittle servants. Bourgeoisie. Our livelihoods were traded for caps over and over again. That ends today. Right here. Right now. We ignite the flames of freedom. Give a speech to two other people. Those flames will spread all over the wasteland, melting away the frost of oppression. Hmm. Today, we begin a chain reaction that will end in revolution. Are you with me? We're just in it for the money! What did I get myself into? Um, we have a visitor. My, what a Great speech that was. Oh, who's this guy? Almost brings a tear to my eye. Foreman! How? I'm not an idiot, Dell. Did you really think I wouldn't notice a wholesale rebellion building up right under my nose? Cell seems a bit generous. You can't stop us now. It's too late. We've won! Really? Because as far as I can see... The leaders of this resistance are all conveniently trapped in one place. Yeah, he's got a point there, dude. With you dead, this pesky rebellion ends. But before I kill you, I need to speak to a visitor. My, you've been busy, haven't you? Eh, you know. It's not an exaggeration to say that Dell would never have gotten this far without you. You're right. The collapse of the Dracoli deal. Whitehead's unexplained disappearance. Those are both your doing, yes? He's still upstairs in that shack. I'd rather not kill you. So how about we make a deal? Okay. Walk away now. 
and will pretend these gross infractions on my business never occurred. I implore you to make the right choice. The only choice in this case. I have dealt with much worse than him. And a bunch of these guys got really cool armor. And that guy has a 50. You're gonna side with the miners so you can kill the foreman's bodyguard. Actually, what are you gonna do to them if I leave? Kill them, of course. Okay. This treason cannot go unpunished. The offer I've given you is very rare. I believe that. I suggest that you not waste it. The thing is, I'm pretty sure you'll just try to have me killed anyway. I think he'll live up to his word. I think he sees the utility and not pissing you off. Oh, that is actually valid. He does seem like he's relatively smart. Mm -hmm. Not an easy decision to make, huh? No, it really isn't, because honestly, I'm not really that connected to any of the proletariat down here. Not even the mad merchant? Hey, he's kind of weird. You got a coin? <laughs> Flip a... Make up your mind. All right, fine. I've dealt with worse than you, dude. You've never dealt with someone like me. <laughs> yeah, I have. I assure you. Kill them. I killed a weeb in a basement who had a katana. Guns? How did they get guns? Yeah, we, we got them guns. Kill them all. Oh, okay. You can try. You can try. Oop, that was that was Donovan. <laughs> Where'd he go? He pissed his pants and ran away. He thinks he'll live another day. Oh, he like ran off? Yeah, we gotta chase him down. Oh, there we go. You're a bad guy. Wow, this thing has got an incredibly slow firing rate. I don't know how much damage it's doing, though. I have do Thank you, Donovan. <laughs> you know, we probably should have enlisted the help of the other miners, so it wasn't just the three of us. That's better. Why wasn't I using this the whole time? There. All fixed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just randomly died. All of the weapons were embedded with biometrics to keep the miners from using them. Oh. I see. I see. I, that's, that's my theory. It's a good theory. It makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Other miners, it's time to rebel against your cap doors. I don't care if you've been here voluntarily. It's basically slavery, so you're justified. You guys can just kill like crazy now for free. <laughs> and we got another man disco partying. Oh, Quickly get inside. Oh, they have killed all of the miners. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> no, the miners' rebellion was over before it started. Wow. Hello. Oh, he's, he's a coward. Get smart. Well. Thank you. Uh, you didn't have to do that. Knock, knock. Well, here we are. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's over, Foreman. We won. You're right. It is over. Without me, Salt Town is doomed. Also, the fact that you killed all the miners. You're really that arrogant. No, I'm realistic. Was I harsh? Yeah. Yes. Was I cruel? Yes. Oh, yes. Was I successful? No. What do you think the answer is? You don't know how to run this town. Not like I do. You don't know how to rein in the superpowers. You don't know how to run it into the ground. Slowly but surely, all I've built will disappear. All the conveniences, the wealth, the quality of life. The whippings. Who will they blame for this? Why, their liberator, of course. You gave them their freedom, but they'll lose everything else. You don't know anything. We won. I almost can't believe it. I never would have dreamed of this a few years ago, and now... <sighs> the foreman was right. We never would have gotten this far without you. Thank you for everything. Okay, so now what? We rebuild one piece at a time. It won't be easy. There are going to be protests, demonstrations. 
that won't be good. Not while we're still weak. Um, They'll well, have to be suppressed violently if need be. Uh huh. But that will come later. For now, we celebrate. Who's going to rebel? They killed all the miners. Yeah. What about the miners who didn't rise up and also didn't get killed? The guards will likely be executed. As for the miners, they'll be given the choice of accepting the new paradigm or leaving. Starting to think I may have made the wrong choice. That's normal, but we'll prove you wrong. Don't worry. Okay. Good luck running your new dictatorship. I think we've already seen the cactus, though. I know, but it looks like a little robot. We should stop to eat. I really have a hankering for a Nuka Cola and a medium rare Brahmin steak. I wonder whatever happened to Elder Elijah. Men like that don't just fade from existence, they return with a vengeance. <laughs> You'd like to know, wouldn't you? <laughs> we locked him in a vault. <laughs> He's probably still down there. <laughs> Oh. I mean, he's probably dead from dehydration. It, oh, yeah, he's totally dead. He's definitely dead. Oh, he's so dead. Where does Caesar get all these guys? It's like it's raining men or something. Man. It's raining man. man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, it's raining rain man. man. Oh, Lord. No way. I would just waltz into his office and just, uh. Uh-oh. That actually did something. What's going on? Wait, what? What? What do you mean there's consequences for my actions? <laughs> what the f <laughs> fuck? Okay. Why am I all the way down here again? I don't know. Get the hell out of this place. And away we- Oh yeah, there's no, there's no fuel. What? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell indeed? We just got transported down here again. Back into the mine. So welcome to Salt Town. Once you enter, you can never leave. Uh, welcome to the hotel known as Salt Town. <laughs> Such a salty place. <laughs> Such a salty place. <laughs>